Hello fifth grade band students. Going to go over your homework assignment with you a little bit. You can see here's the page. Uh, unit 3, activity 1. You should have received this in class. Completing measures in 2, 4, 3, 4, and 4, 4 time. You want to help Professor Steinway by completing the measures below using either one note or rest as indicated. So for instance in this example here, you notice it's 4, 4 all the way across. So for 4, 4 uh, in fact, let's rotate it so we can know what we're looking at. In 4-4, four, four, this box wants a rest. So we have to make sure there's four beats in this box, and we uh, will add the correct number of rests to make four beats. In this, the correct one note to make it four beats. In this one, one note to make it four beats. In this one, one rest to make it four beats, and so on. Two, four in this row, three, four in this row. 4, 4, 3, 4, 2, 4. Don't forget the two questions over here. Okay, so that's the assignment. Let's go back and do just a little bit of review. This is lesson 10. Lesson 10 was about 2, 4 time. The 2 means that there's two beats in a measure. Quarter note receives the beat. Remember that uh, a whole rest is a full measure of rest, no matter how many beats there are. Okay, so there's some more information if you need to review about 2, 4. 3, 4, lesson 11. Uh, three beats in a measure, quarter note gets the beat, whole rest equals a full uh, measure, and according to the book, it says that a half rest and a whole note are never used in 3-4 time. So we want to kind of go by that rule as well. The next lesson, lesson 12, to review a little bit, talks about a dot. Uh, this is dotted half notes. Dot adds half the duration of the original value to the note. In 3-4, half note gets two beats. Since there's a dot, we add one and get a total of three. For the most part, you're going to be dealing with dots after half notes. If you just remember that that equals three beats, you'll be just fine. In lesson 13, we talked about ties and slurs. Remember, there's a key word. For ties, it joins two notes of the same pitch. A slur joins notes of different pitches. We also have the legato term, which means smoothly connected, um, and that'll be an important one to remember. Also remember how we make slurred notes on wind instruments, on string instruments, and on keyboard instruments. Okay, so we're back to our um, assignment, and on this page, again, remember, use one note only, okay, or rest, depending on if it says R or N in each box in order to make it the same number of beats that the time signature indicates for the whole row. Okay, hopefully this is helpful and hopefully you can uh, get to work on your homework assignment and um, just bring it with you to class and we'll turn it in. Thank you.